Okay, I don't really want to be jumping on the bandwagon here, but Rebecca Ferguson is clearly just such a massive part. And for me, without her in Dune Part 2, it lacks so much. She's incredible. And um, maybe it took this film to make me realise that. But I'm going to be jumping on this. Uh, Rebecca Ferguson said... um, I was talking about an idiot co-star uh, that screamed at her on set. And she was talking about she was crying off, um, off set. Uh, this is in a recent interview. And it's really annoying because, you know, I, there was a situation with Charlie Theron and Tom Hardy. Um, but people are going to still watch Tom Hardy films, even though he clearly treated her like crap. And I, this has got nothing to do with male or female. This is just about a workplace and, and being um, being nice to your fellow colleagues but in the realms of acting no one's a star anymore and if you're a celebrity well done uh, you know but in in the acting world in the theater everyone's all the same um i was very surprised about the charlie saron mad max tom hardy thing but look here we have it again with rebecca ferguson who's clearly talented clearly just seems like such an incredible generous person as well um but on reddit they have listed um the people that it could have been and who she was acting with at the time. And I thought it might be interesting just to go through them um, because it's kind of fun as well, even though this is definitely not um, a joking matter. So first of all, we have The Rock, um, who apparently has uh, come to support her, probably to try and take his name off the list. Um, She was apparently working with him at the time. We have Tom Cruise, uh, who she works with quite regularly. I think we can rule him out too. Now we have Meryl Streep. Hmm. Um, And she does say human being, not necessarily him or her. So maybe Meryl Streep is a question mark. Hugh Grant, uh, yeah, I think he has shown uh, to be a little bit of a loose cannon, especially in uh, some interviews on the red carpet. He has some anger issues. That's possibility. She also, I mean, this person is also number one on the call sheet, so they have to have some gravitas and... This person is also saying to her, she cannot act. So we've got to think they can act themselves. Emily Blunt, definitely not. Jake Gyllenhaal, I cannot see it. I cannot see it. He's always working with a range of different actors. I mean, he's not that good himself as an actor. So no, I'm going to rule him out. Ryan Reynolds going to rule him out. Uh, Maybe a bit too quickly. Ryan Reynolds, maybe. But now we have my favourite here and this has got nothing to do with anything anything apart from the fact that he's kind of taken a bit of a weird turn with his films recently the sniper the assassin i don't know what it was but that came out of nowhere and it's kind of a weird film where he he's acting i don't know it it, that film came out of nowhere and it's like what's fassbender been up to recently is this a sign that and we don't know much about him he's a phenomenal actor he is the person I can see doing that. That's not to say it's him. Hugh Jackman, too nice. Just been through a divorce. Maybe had some anger issues. Zac Efron, far too nice. Ewan McGregor, also divorced. Few issues. Bit pissed off that he messed up the original Star Wars and actually no one's watching his sequels, maybe. Chris Hemsworth, too nice. Tessa Thompson, not sure who she is. But for me, the standout there is Fastbender. So, you know, at some point we're going to find out anyway, aren't we? And um, I think if The Rock has already come out and sort of said, hey, look, I'm supporting her here, um, it doesn't mean it wasn't him. Um, Tom Cruise, we all know, can have a bit of a rant on set um, and can cover up things really well. But they clearly like each other and have done sequels and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, for me... It's uh, it's our very own uh, Michael Fassbender. <laughs> that is literally just an opinion. And um, yeah, it is based on the fact that we don't know much about him and that he's just popped up in a very strange, weird Netflix movie recently with Fincher. Um, so that's me, over and out. Love to hear your thoughts. Bye. Don't let anything distract you from it.